Hey folks, welcome you all to a new video. This is CA Ganesh Bharadwaj. So in this video, I am going to share with you the one day before exam strategy for your paper four costing for the upcoming September 2024 exams, right? So I'm recording this video on the 17th of September. So basically by the time you come out of your tax paper, right? So this video will be available for you. Now, now I will also be making a separate video for FM one day before exam strategy that will be done separately. But in this video, I'm going to focus only on costing for this September 24 attempt. Now, guys, as you all know, as you all know, so now your uh, your exams right now for every paper out of 100 marks, 30 marks comes from your MCQ component and 70 marks comes from your descriptive component right and this 70 30 this mcq component got introduced only in the last attempt may 2024 and generally this mcq will be like so there will be two case study based questions each carrying 10 10 marks right and there will be one standalone mcq series of five questions each carrying two marks this is how it will be right and and these mcq components can literally come from anywhere in your entire syllabus that's why i always tell you guys that conceptual learning is very important because these are all application driven so this mcq exactly cannot be predicted or you cannot say from which area it is going to come but overall overall if you have a very good grip over conceptual understanding you can definitely crack this mcq component so predominantly in this video i am going to focus more on the 70 mark descriptive component for a simple reason that this descriptive component has been more or less the similar one for the last 30 or 40 years or ever since uh, you know institute was conducting started conducting this exam it's, it was actually one and the same. Of course, slight trend changes alone were there. That I have done a detailed analysis. And in this video, I am going to present you the most important prioritize. I mean, the, the chapters that need to be prioritized the most the day before your exam. Right. And trust me, guys, it is not at all difficult to pass or get an exemption. It is 100 percent possible just that you need to prioritize in a certain way as simple as that right so now based on all the past trend analysis and also taking into account the last attempt that is may 24 attempt which was the first attempt under the new syllabus now what i have done is i have prioritized and listed out a few chapters with some appro approximate weightage that with at which it can appear in your exam so this marks cannot be exactly the same for example cost sheet i put seven marks it might not exactly come for seven marks approximately in my opinion i feel it might be tested for that so similarly something similar to this is what i have done based on my past uh, trend analysis and based on my expectation this is what i have done because i don't believe in this called as abc analysis so every chapter you give it a name like a a category chapter b category chapter c category chapter i don't i'm not a big fan of that rather you can have a look at your RTP of that attempt, of this attempt, the previous attempt and the mock test papers and of course the past exam question papers and all. Based on this, I have just come up with a reasonable estimate. It might not be 100% accurate, but, but predominantly this is what I feel is all set for your exam. Now, if you look at this guys, I'm talking once again about the descriptive component. Cost sheet, in my opinion, can somewhere come for about seven or eight marks overheads and abc i have clubbed together because abc is nothing but an extension of overheads it can come for overall approximately around 10 marks is what i feel right marginal costing for seven marks standard costing six marks process costing eight material five employee four and budget six now if you total this up it comes out to 53 marks out of the 70 mark component right that's a huge number that's a huge number one more thing that i want to tell you in the last attempt may attempt right so students were telling me that uh, there were case study based question one case study based question came from cost sheet and another case study based question came from marginal costing and standard costing put together mixed right and apart from that there were 
a five standalone MCQs which can literally come from any other chapter. Now, what I'm trying to say here is all the heavyweight and important chapters I have covered here. Now, if the same from the same chapter, there are also chances that the same chapter can also be tested in your MCQ component. Now, out of the 30 mark MCQ component, conservatively, let us say that you can get 20 marks. Easily, you can get 20 marks if you are able to crack it. And if you have learned it conceptually, definitely you can get 20 marks. Now, just tell me, guys, around 50 plus 20, about 70 marks of the paper, entire paper, you are kind of able to get to know from which areas it is going to come. So in costing, we have a total of 15 chapters out of which some eight, nine chapters are contributing to somewhere around 70 to 80 marks. That's a huge number. So please prioritize and do it in the same order. The revision, please do it in the same order. I would also like to put one more point very clear. There are a few other chapters which I have not mentioned here. It doesn't mean that you can omit it. No. Sir, will questions will will questions be coming from other chapters also? Absolutely, yes. Because I have not covered the entire 100 marks. No one can predict the paper. Only institute knows that. Are you clear with this? But reasonable estimate based on the past trends and also based on the May 24 attempt. That is the first attempt under the new syllabus. This is what I feel will be coming or this is what I feel will be the weightage that you can expect in the upcoming September 2024 exams. Right? And have this one confidence in your mind, guys. Look. Passing is definitely not at all difficult. Look, this is all I'm saying. Some three, four chapters, you finish 40 marks is guaranteed, right? Anyways, 20 marks there on the MCQ component. Who knows from these chapters, once again, MCQs can also come. So 40 marks is like easily guaranteeable if you cover about five, six chapters and you're done. Now, for all the months of studies that you have done, can't you, can't you cover some five, six chapters and, uh, you know, finish off score 40 marks? Right? I'm not asking you to just aim for 40. I'm just saying that is going to be the first ever problem. First question is, will I be able to pass? Clear that first. Easily some 5-6 chapters you can cover and finish your, clear your paper. Now, once you cross that 40 mark, tremendous confidence will be generated. And the next 20 marks you can aim for it. And once you move on to that 60 level mark, now what happens? Exemption is guaranteed. You need not touch this paper again in your lifetime right 160 marks you've scored whatever marks you get right now is bonus if you layer it up like this and prepare for your exams automatically you'll be scoring about 80 plus it's a guarantee just mark my words that is how it's going to be directly don't see how will i score uh, directly don't aim for scoring high marks maybe first 40 then the next 20 and then whatever you get is a bonus if you layer it like this automatically you will be able to get the maximum possible marks by putting the least amount of efforts with whatever time that is available right now one and a half days prioritize like this chapters like cost sheet historically every attempt cost sheet gets tested for 10 marks but back then everything was descriptive now last attempt what they did they didn't even test one mark from cost sheet in the descriptive portion but the entire cost sheet was kept as a mcq sum now in your attempt it, it might not be exactly like that Maybe some portion, they might keep it here in the descriptive component. Some portion, they might mix it along with another chapter and put it in the MCQ area. This is the reason why I just made a reasonable estimate and I'm presenting it to you. Are you clear with this? Right? So, cost sheet, your overheads ABC. Now, overheads and ABC club together. I think last attempt, it came for 14 marks. Overheads and ABC. Two descriptive component. In the descriptive component itself, it was tested for 14 marks. 14 out of 70 is going to be about 20% weightage in the descriptive component. It, it gets, it got tested, right? And of course, needless to say, marginal costing, standard costing, these chapters, and of course, budget, these chapters can be mixed anywhere in the MCQ component as well as in the descriptive component. That's why I'm saying these chapters, I have put marks here only for the descriptive component. It can also get repeated in the MCQ component where I just said out of 30 reasonably, you can score about easily 20 marks. So if that is the case, easily a 70 plus is 100% a possibility in your up to upcoming September 2024 exam. Are you clear with this? So don't have the fear. Just First, the moment you come out of your exam hall, the taxation paper, the previous paper, taxation paper, take some time off and then get started with this preparation strategy. I am sure you will be able to score really well with whatever is the limited time available. So that's it from my side for today, guys. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.